what I meant was th we could have done it this way and it would have been okay except that one problem we could have said parent does set up auto scroll and then just do this but basically if we do this the next time this um, function gets called again this variable over here will not be what we want it to be so we want to force it to mean parent every time this function is being called so that's why we're doing this over here okay so we'll just um, go back a moment and just leave it as it is here all right so let's go ahead and test our slider right now as it is so we'll refresh and every three seconds this should fire go to the next yep it's going to the next one yep going to the next one let's just make sure that it goes to the first um one so it reaches the end and it does not okay so let's go ahead and see what happened actually um, so slide left slide left so it means there must be some issues in our slide left function so let's go back on our slide left actually let's go and check in Firefox um, bug here first F12 tools and see if anything went wrong so it seemed like nothing went wrong so let's just check our html here inspect with firebug so let's refresh and see okay so active link next time it goes we get second as active link next time third next time fourth so it seems like when it reaches the end it does not set the active link as the first one again so we'll go ahead and fix that so let's see what's happening all right so test if length equals to okay so basically um next active link if it reaches the end it actually sets it again if you remember we say next active link equals to the first one in here but we're not saying set the first one give the class of active link so we actually have to copy this inside of our function if if um, statement as well here and just say set it the active link as well here and um, let's do that for slide um, right as well in case um, we want this carousel to be sliding to the left instead of the right so let's just copy that quickly paste it in here go back in our browser and refresh let me just close this so you can see what's happening properly so fingers crossed let's make sure it all goes right and we're on the fourth one moment of bravery guys all right everything seems to work fine okay so um i know it's been a very long journey guys um it seems like everything in our carousel is set up properly and um yeah and um, it seems like we've reached the end of the journey and guys thanks for um, braving it out with me it hasn't been a very easy um, tutorial but um, we've reached the final and um, I'm sure you by right now you must be having lots of questions and um, I do expect you to because it wasn't actually that easy for me to do this as well it took a bit of um, practice but um we did get through in the end and guys um please get back get in touch with me through either um, youtube my website twitter um google plus any of those means i will be um available for questions on this and um thanks for watching the videos and as usual please rate and comment and um that really helps and there's more tutorials on the way and i'll see you soon in a video um actually i'll just make an announcement right now i'm currently have working on um, some um, validation um, PHP scripts and I shall upload those soon and um, I'll see you in those videos alright thanks for watching I'll um, see you in the next video bye